Hey my friends, today I'm going to show you a really quick and budget friendly flip that anyone can do. I personally don't think every flip has to be overly complicated. Sometimes the simple ones end up being the most charming. I found this beautiful rocking chair on the side of the road last September. Yep, that's September of 2021 and it is now March of 2022. So six months ago and the cane in the seat portion was completely torn and broken. I was originally going to replace the cane, but as time went by and I realized I wasn't doing anything with it, I decided that maybe the idea of fixing the cane was overwhelming and there was possibly a different solution. I had this brown packing paper and it was the perfect size, so I used it to trace the area of the seat using a Sharpie. Once that was finished, I cut the pattern out with some scissors. Since my wood art involves a lot of plywood, I had a lot of extra lying around in my shop, so I pulled a piece that would be a good size for the seat cushion and traced my pattern on it. When I originally got this idea, I ordered a piece of foam off Amazon and didn't realize that I ordered a four inch piece. Uh, hello Amanda, pay a little more attention. Which was actually a little bit too big, but because I am trying to save money and practicing budgeting more, instead of ordering another, I decided to just use this piece and cut it down to size. This step was actually a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be, but I was determined to make it happen. The first thing I needed to do was cut the width in half because it was too thick. And it quickly became pretty darn messy, so I took it out into my shop and alternated between my handsaw and my big kitchen knife. Honestly, I would recommend using a serrated bread knife, but I don't have one, so I just used what I had. I'll also link my handsaw because this is one of my favorite tools. Once I finally got that cut down to the shape and size I wanted, I used my jigsaw to cut out the plywood backing. And if you were just starting to collect tools, a jigsaw is another one that I absolutely recommend and was one of the first things that I ever bought. In fact, it is this one that I am using here. I will link it below as well and I highly recommend one if you are getting into DIY. Now that I got the foam and the plywood cut down to size, it was time to put the cushion together. Linen off of Amazon as well, and there was actually a lot more fabric than I thought there was going to be, which was fine by me because I can use this in so many other projects, and I love when you can multi-purpose materials. And honestly, so does my bank account. I began by laying down the plywood backing and the foam on top of the linen and one thing you want to make sure that you do is make sure that there is enough to wrap all the way around with a good couple inches on the back side so that you can staple it down. I got this staple gun, which also doubles as a brad nail gun off of Amazon as well. I know I'm a little bit of a fan of Amazon. It's very, very convenient. Although I do have goals of trying to use it less, we'll link this nail gun as well.
I slowly begin folding over the linen and stapling it to the plywood. For the rounded corners and the front, there was really no perfect way of doing this, so I just came up with what I thought looked good, and knowing that there was gonna be creases and folds, I kinda just had to accept that. Once I was finished stapling it down, I put the cushion on the rocking chair, and then I found this adorable burnt orange velvety round pillow off of, you guessed it, Amazon. I love the look of it, so I just threw it onto this rocking chair. I think it turned out so cute and charming. It is not perfect by any means, but it makes me realize that I really want to learn how to reupholster furniture. Let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you love content like this. I definitely plan on doing a lot more budget and renter friendly DIY projects in the near future. So make sure you subscribe to know when I upload those videos. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.